Bonjourno. So we're at the uh, Republic, uh, no, how do you say it? Uh, Plaza del. Uh, I think you say Piazza della Repubblica. I think you say it better. But I don't speak Italian, so hard to say. Basically, we're just chilling because yesterday we walked uh, like. 30 kilometers and the day before 25 or something. So our legs are super tired. But we're at the sun and everything in Rome looks so spectacular. Like, so we're sitting in the middle of a roundabout observing the traffic and the little Italians on their little scooters. But down there, that's where we were exploring yesterday. If the, what's your favorite monument called? It's the Altar of the Fatherland. Ah. It just looks really cool. Altar of the Fatherland. Gita's favorite one. So I think we're just gonna see what happens. See what bracelet men trying to okay. attack us today. But enjoying Rome so far, it's great. Definitely my favorite city. So I think we're gonna head down to the main area of town now. Found this long ass tunnel, I'm like, why, why don't we just walk through it sort of thing. But of course. I'm currently drinking my ice cream. Freaking ice cream girlfriend, of mm -hmm. course. But, <laughs> pretty big tunnel. It's crazy, like once it starts raining, you get umbrellas everywhere. <laughs> Sunny, oh, sun umbrella there's a, everywhere. There's another monument I wanna check out down here. So, do you know what it is? It's a pretty cool statue, I'll show you. If you don't get your eyes gouged out. I know, that was close. What do you think Wild made up there? Come down off there, mate. Oh, he's not that lonely. He has a couple of friends up there. <laughs> I think that is perhaps one of my favorite pillars with a dude on top. Can we take it? My favorite pillar with a dude on top. Yeah, I'll take it home. All pigeons and shit up there nesting. Oh yeah, I didn't Don't even think slip. about that. That would have been funny. <laughs> <laughs> Can I push you in? No. Oh. Spanish steps. What do you reckon, Gita? So this is the Spanish steps and this is the fountain in front of it, I guess. Do you know what the it's... fountain's called? No. Is it just the Spanish steps? So this is the impressive thing. Big it's funny cool. thing about it is that you can't sit on it or the, the whistle man gets you. What do you I... think? It's the widest staircase in Europe, oh. and it has 135 steps, I think. Hashtag real facts. Real facts? <laughs> it's cool, but like, it's steps. Yeah, but look at the, the church on top, it's kind of cool. How old are they? What, the kid there? I don't know how long old the steps are. You know why it was built though? Why? The steps were built. So you, you could connect this road along here to the church up there, the basilica. Yeah. That's a, that's what I know anyway. Makes sense. Could be wrong. So we're still getting rained on, but we're gonna continue wandering around. See what see what see what life is like as a Roman in Rome. <laughs> so we just found a cute little cocktail roof top bar. So hopefully it lives up to its name. Oh, this looks spooky. It might be like a hotel here. Yeah. It? Very nice. Sky Terrace. So I know what I'm on. I'm on the mission for the best cocktail. <laughs> I'm gonna sit here. Is this where we're gonna get it? Maybe. So you guys ready? Uh, yeah. Uh, vodka sour for me, please. Vodka sour? Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, Bellini. Bellini. So one Bellini, then one Aperol spirits, and for you, vodka sour. That's correct. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. So. I'm kind of like you, like, I don't really like sparkling wine or Prosecco, but I'll try. Yeah, so I'm trying the vodka sour, which is pretty typical of me. I love vodka and I, I, love, like I love sour things, so yeah, I like it. 
And what, what are you getting, Priya? An apple Tell you what, the, the cocktail it comes with a, a pretty pretty interesting view of Roma, and that's the uh, the Spanish section just over there. And we're sitting up on the rooftops, and it's like it's kind of interesting up here because uh, we're sort of looking into everyone's backyard while we're having our cocktail. So we're kind of like the kings of Rome at the moment, on the highest point of the tower, drinking our little cocktails, looking down at the peasants. Let's see what we got over here. Ooh, it's a bit rickety up here. Ro the Roman constructions, 2,000 years ago. Every time, move your hand. That's a guilty face right there. Move your hand. Every time Gita marks it, just straight out marks it, hey. What do you think? Grazie. Yeah, that looks so good. I want to take a photo. That's like the worst. You take it this way. Can't see. It's like citrusy vodka. I think what can I, I say? I think I, I think oh, I'm speaking. I think I like prosecco now. So you can't speak after one, one see it. <laughs> I think I like prosecco now because it tastes like cider. <laughs> tastes like sour vodka, aka the vodka sour. It's not bad. That's right. Thanks. Hey. Give me some of that one. It's nice. Bubbly. No, because it's exciting. No, I'm not a fan. I'm I like it, but I like the color the most. I'm gonna keep my vodka sour. It's so bitter. It is nice, but like it's just it's just not my kind of nice. But I sitting up here, more, but it's nice. looking You're at not my church. Your lemon, are you? Yeah, I will. Anyway, cheers. So I mixed the lime through my uh, cocktail and it straight up just tastes like lemon water now, don't you think? It totally does. It doesn't really taste like a cocktail anymore. It can't taste alcohol or anything, it's just lime water. That's true, but like, I kind of like that. For the first I time, that. For the first time I had a Bellini, which is nice. A Bellini. Bellini, it sounds fancy. I'm happy I can have and enjoy night like other drinks now because I used to never get that and be like, yeah, no, I don't like that. I don't want that. True. It kind of tastes like cider, so I like it. My mom just said they didn't ask me for my ID when we ordered the cocktails. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm 22 right now. They don't ask me anymore. 22, <laughs> so full of attitude. I sometimes do if he's not with me. <laughs> Hey, what are you saying? <laughs> well, I finished my uh, cocktail, and I tell you what, it tasted like water in the end, which is very nice, and I'm definitely feeling some cocktailish effects. Are you feeling some cocktailish effects? Not really. Not really? No. But one funny story with the ID. One time, do you remember? I think we were buying alcohol. I forgot my ID, but I was buying a thing, so I'm like, yeah, can I just use his ID? So we showed it Don's ID and then she let me buy it. And then I remember really, this, this was at it the really supermarket. It really doesn't make sense. I'm like... <laughs> but I think like she's, she was like confused with the situation and she it was in Germany. She saw my Australian ID and then that just threw her off at bro the broker and then <laughs> that allowed us to continue the story sort of thing. I was like, hey, I'm not 18, let me just use his ID, does that work? She's like, and it's like, yep, Australian must be over 18 sort of thing. <laughs> Yeah.
So that was the Sky Terrace. You like the Sky Terrace? Yeah, it was nice. No, but I think um, my review of the cocktails was the cocktails are all right. The price was a bit on the expensive side, but the view was very much top tier. Top tier view? Yeah. So I think uh, definitely top tier, top tier view up there. Little expensive, and cocktails are right. So if you want the view, you go to the Sky Terrace. <laughs> That's well, definitely what I'm taking away. What do you think? It was definitely really hidden away, and uh, we would have not. Uh, hmm? What was it called? The Sky Terrace. Yeah. Hmm. Thought it was nice. I really liked it. Yeah, you get to look over all these little Roman houses and how they're interconnected. And it, I feel like when you look at the top of them, like it gives you a different perspective. And it makes you realize that it seems like all of the uh, extra levels have just been added on. They've decided, yeah, we want another level. And then they've just sort of jankied on like a staircase out the door sort of thing. And that seems how it's like every single building. But now we're just going to explore around. What else does Rome have to offer? I wish I would have gotten that. <laughs> English, English, France, Spanish? No, this guy, this guy right here, Russian. <laughs> At least that's what he tells all the people.